Do you know why a skeleton feels lonely? Because it has no body. <laughs> Did I tickle your funny bone or are you going to break my bones for that silly joke? Please don't do that. Today we will see some amazing facts about our bones. So stay tuned till the end. Did you know that as babies we are all born with 300 bones? As we grow up, a few of our bones fuse together and as adults, we have a total of 206 bones in our body. Before we get to know more such facts, let's get to know what a bone is. A bone is defined as a specialized connective tissue composed of calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate. What does it do in our bodies? It gives our body its shape. Imagine how you would look without them. Just like the metal framework supports the building and gives it a shape, the bones are our body's framework which supports the weight of our body and gives it a shape. It also encloses and protects our vital organs from getting exposed and being injured. The skull bone protects our brain and the rib cage as we know it protects our heart. Let's do something different today. Let's ask a few people some bone trivia. Are you ready? Let's start by answering some questions today. Do you know which is the longest bone in our body? The hand bone. What will call him? It will be skull. Is it the skull? It looks huge. Or is it the vertebral column? It must be that, right? Since it starts from the neck and goes right to the lower back. No, the vertebral column is not one long bone. It is made of 33 bones. Then which is the longest bone in our body? It's the femur bone in our thigh. It starts from the hip and extends right up to the knee. It is also the strongest bone in our body. Which is the smallest bone in our body? Fingers, shoulder, the nose. The stirrup or stapes bone is the smallest bone in the human body and it is present inside our ear. It measures only 2 to 3 mm in length. Did you know 51% of your bones are in your hands and feet? That means all of your hands and feet have a total of 106 bones. We've been showing you skeletons from the start of this video. I'm sure you're thinking, was it a male or a female? Human bones in both genders are the same except for one bone. The pelvis bone in females is slightly bigger and wider to help in childbirth. It's funny how evolution decides everything for us. So, this off-white looking structure or our bone is where our body stores 99% of our calcium. But did you know our body cannot produce calcium? It gets the required amount from our diet and supplements. So, for good bone health, what should you eat? Dairy products like milk, cheese, butter, yogurt or plant-based milk like almond milk and soy milk. a lot of nuts and of course green leafy vegetables so let me tell you what happens if you don't have a diet rich in calcium from our diet calcium is absorbed in the blood stream but if the blood stream has no calcium in it the brain sends signals to the bones to supply calcium to the body and slowly calcium can get replenished whenever there's an excess in your diet But if you continue to skip the calcium rich foods your bone just keeps getting drained of all the calcium and they become weak osteoporosis i know you've heard of this this is the most common bone disease characterized by low bone mass when bones lose essential minerals like calcium it causes the mesh like structure within the bones to become thin fragile and fracture easily fracture let's talk about fractures Did you know nearly 6 million people break their bones in US every year and the most commonly fractured bone is the collar bone or the clavicle and the bones in your arms are also very easy to fracture the common reasons for the fracture are snowboarding bike rides and trampoline jumping so next time you're having a good time remember to be very careful but do you know something amazing about our bones is that our bones heal themselves but a cast is needed so that the bones are held in the correct position and are protected soon after a fracture occurs the body acts to protect the injured area and forms a protective blood clot and callus around the fracture new threads or bone cells start to grow on both the sides of the fracture line 
Now, these threads grow towards each other and the callus is complete. Depending on the type of the fracture, it may sometimes take one full year for a complete healing. So, in the comments below, let us know if you've ever had a fracture and which bone have you broken. Till then, we hope you enjoyed this bony video as much as we love making it for you. Subscribe to Let's Do It for more such videos every week. See you next time and thank you for watching.